Hi guys and welcome to the Marvelous Enlightenment channel. I am Marv. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're here by way of my main channel readings by Marvelous um, Marvelous Madame Tarot, I act like I don't know who I was for a second, then thank you so much for being here. This is going to be the October 2021 monthly energy read for your collective Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And right here, you do see the Queen of the Moon Oracle. I'm going to get it out of the shot. The reason why it's there is because maybe about two to three minutes into the original um, broadcast, I guess, of this particular, um, or maybe we'll call it an attempt of your particular Oracle message, I had to pause the video and sometimes that pause button will stick. And I noticed that I got all the way through. And when I ended on um, the wrapping up the energy for you guys this month, it wasn't necessarily great. Um, it, it, I take everything with lessons and things that I need to learn. And that's how I teach my collective and I teach people that follow and subscribe to me. However, Leo... I instantly was drawn to pull three cards from, so this is going to be a reading within the reading for you, um, from the Queen of the Moon Oracle. So we're going to go ahead and get into your particular energy right now. And that energy, um, the very first thing is the overall message for the month of October, which is escapist. Come home to yourself. This is the card of 32. Three plus two is five, five. Five automatically carries an energy of being um, of, of challenges. So coming home to yourself is the challenge. And escapism is something that you have kind of learned how to do because that means that there must be some part of reality that you would rather escape from because it is too painful for um, you either don't know what to do right now or it's too painful for you to deal with. Everyone wants to escape their lives occasionally. Some of us likes to binge watch shows. Some of us likes to listen to music and some of us likes to read. And some of us likes to go and leave it all behind and go on vacation. All of that is totally healthy. Our lives can get incredibly stressful. However, too much escapism can mean you're not confronting a big problem, which isn't healthy for you. Face it head on and let the pieces fall wherever they may. So there is something in your life that has been much easier for you to kind of just escape from rather than to deal with in a big way. And when I saw that energy, I decided that I would go ahead and pull down and get additional help. So we do have that. Now we're going to go into your spiritual message here for this month. And the first card that your energy chose is self-love. This carries an energy or a message that you're guided to let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never before, as well as the card of Limitless. And this has a message of see yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways the divine can use anything and anyone. So these two kinds of uh, play hand in hand because there's something that you're escaping from that you think that loves you or that is there to nurture you and give you love rather than you focusing on giving it to yourself. And that is um, the reason why possibly, and that's such a broad description that it can be anything that has a lot to do with loving yourself, but it stems back to you. Okay. And so you are being guided that you are a limitless being and due to you being a limitless being, you are re reminded to know that you're supposed to fill up your own cup and do these things yourself. Okay. Now, your, your closing message <coughs> is the card of 29, and this is fertility. This is all about fertility. Obviously, I'm going to get into that, but let's talk about your crosses right now. So this is Libra. The month of Libra, astrologically, you are a Leo, okay? And so your first cross in the energy that you're trying to navigate to uh, or through would be the energy of Libra. That's the first thing. Now, again, I felt like when this is all about the, the fifth month, 
Um, I'm really feeling like you're being guided to kind of come home to yourself. When I look at this, I'm looking at the Leo symbol. That is your symbol, and this is a vegetable. So vegetables carry a vibration of water, so you could be crossing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But this is about coming home to yourself, understanding what within yourself that you need to reevaluate or regroup or plant within yourself, what needs to grow and be nurtured with inside of yourself. So let's go ahead and talk about fertility. And this is, again, the card of 29. 9 plus 2 is 11. All right. So watermelon. And this is the nurture of elements around you is highlighted. And watermelon energy shows that you will reap what you have sown. The wisdom of nature is at the forefront and answers, discoveries, and inspiration will be found there for you. Plan well, stick with things, and look after those around you. Challenges may be a failure to connect with others and in authenticity. This is sex, magic, strength, aphrodisiac, blood substitute, or peace. Okay, this has a celestial meaning um, for the planetary meaning of Mars, and this is a lap, uh, this is a card or um, fruit that is has an astrological tie with you, Leo. Okay. So you can grow and create anything in your life is um, what I think this is. And there is a life you want, a love you want, a reality that you want. And you're being guided that if you love yourself a little bit more and face the problem head on within yourself, that you will find the strength to create that reality that you want. Your additional meanings or card that I pulled by way of the Oracle of the Mystical Moments was the card of Liberty. Now, when this card came out, I told you in the previous attempt, what you didn't see was that you are crossing with Aquarius. So that's your second cross. OK, we're going to go ahead and read that. That is the card of two. Two carries a vibration of balance, choices, confidence, letting go and self-determination. This card shows a woman standing in profile. Okay, a bird cage hangs from her hair and she is about to release her winged friend into the night. The stars and the way the moon are guiding the little bird's way. The woman has plucked the special star from the sky to help shepherd the bird's journey. This card can stand for freedom. You do not have to choose your life in that way. Remember, this card stands for the freedom. You have to choose your own way in life, okay? Don't let others choose or decide for you. You have the power to liberate yourself both from external and internal cages. Many of, op of the obstacles we face are the ones that we create ourselves. Once we realize that we created them, we have the power to release them. So liberty is here. Also, you pull the card of flower spirit, that 10 carries a vibration of completion. There is a cycle in your life, Leo Collective, that is about to come to a end, okay? This is friendship, soul, tenderness, and joy. This card shows the tender and sensitive flower fairy in the soul of each plant. She listens with all of her heart to her friends and provides a soothing caress when their edges gets prickly. Be, by enjoying life and keeping the playfulness in her heart, she is a source of inspiration and joy. Her childlike vision helps her see the good in all things, especially herself. And that goes back to this self-love. So because this message was so deep, I decided again to pull um, a three-card spread from the Moon Oracle deck. And I'm going to get into that right now. I have a little bit of time and I want to go ahead and do that because this was definitely a hard one. OK, so the heart or the question, whatever the first thing that came to mind when you see this card is actually what the heart of the matter is. That is the card of focus, a waxing gibbous moon five. OK, focus one plus four is five. Five is challenges. So it's been a challenge for you to focus on something. All right. So let's go into that. It's the time. The time has come. Hold on. Sorry, guys. 
You must focus on the task at hand right now. There is no room for scattergun approach. Put on the blinkers or neck. Put on the blinkers and do not listen to gossip or negative people. If you make a mistake, it is your mistake to make. Do not waste your focus. Do not split your attention into too many, uh, too many pieces. And if you need a companion stone or metal, go and get carnelian. Okay. The challenge right now, um, Leo Collective, is boundaries. Okay. One plus two is three. Three carries, obviously, a um, a vibration of growth, okay? Something's not growing and there needs to be balance, uh, there needs to be uh, boundaries put up, okay? Judging what you need, ju judging what you need and what you don't need allows you to place healthy boundaries, to teach people how to treat you. Judge what is healthy and what is right for you with clarity and care simplify. Okay. So there is some issues with boundaries right now. If you need a additional uh, companion stone, this particular card carries the companion stone of obsidian. Okay. And finally, the solution is hot moon extremes. That was about growth. This is about extremes seven. Seven is about choices. It's time to make the choice. Okay. Hot moon extremes, three plus seven, three plus four is seven. And seven obviously carries an a, a energy of choices. You need to make a choice to get rid of this thing. And it's called hot moon extremes because it challenges you to build your resilience and reserves of wisdom and calm for those times that are at their extreme. Okay. Learn how to handle crisis with calm and resilience. Seeking balance is superior to seeking extremes. There are better ways to handle conflict than rage and outrage. There may be someone who seeks to disrupt your business or life in some way, but remember this too shall pass. All right. Remember, it reminds us that developing grace under pressure is worth its weight in gold. And even in those extremes in time, they still will pass. The companion stone for that is sunstone. So um, right now, um, there is a choice to put up a boundary. Someone is trying to stress you out, cause you some trouble some in, in one way or another. But right now, it's all about filling up your own cup and making sure that you don't escape into escapism and you're being guided to meet this challenge head on. Like, share, and subscribe. And I certainly hope this resonated with you, Leo, and I will see you next month when we do it again. If this did resonate with you and you're interested in exploring your situation a little bit more, then you can certainly book me for a personal session and we will go from there. Thank you guys.